everyone, I am here with my highlight collection. Now, if you guys have followed me for any length of time or seen any hauls, you guys know I have a serious addiction to highlighters, illuminizers, whatever you wanna call them. I have drugstore high-end, cream, stick, powder, liquid, all sorts of highlighters. So I'm gonna show you my whole collection. I think I have all of them here. I'm not including MAC MSFs, only because I will do a separate video on my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes because I have some that kind of are highlighters but maybe blushes. So I'm gonna do a whole separate video on my MAC MSFs. If you're interested, thumbs up this video and let me know down below and I will show you. Okay, let's start with drugstore. Yeah, we'll start with the drugstore highlighters first and then we will move into the high-end highlighters. So I know I have another one of these but I don't know where it has um, ventured off to. I thought that I had it up here, but I guess I don't. But if I find it, I will include it somewhere in here. Uh, it is the Victoria's Secret Highlighters. This is in the color Fixation. It's their Illuminating Face Powder. And the other one I have is more of a pinky tone. So this one is a kind of silvery, yeah, pretty silvery colored highlight. Now, first off, Excuse my hands, I don't know what happened when I self-tanned yesterday, but for some reason it did not self-tan the top of my hand, but it made my fingers really brown. So, um, right here is Fixation. Now, this is a really pretty highlighter. Um, it's kind of frosty, but I find that this is a highlighter that swatches better than it applies. When I apply it with a brush, I don't find that I get that great a pigmentation from it. So this is kind of one of those eh, I would kind of pass on them. They're kind of in between drugstore and high end. Uh, it came in a little gift set, so it's, did it come in a gift set? I'm not sure, maybe it didn't. But anyways, it is a really pretty color, but it just doesn't apply as nicely as some of my other ones. So that was probably not a good one to start with because that's not really drugstore. Okay, drugstore. Hard candy, these you can get at Walmart. This is in Tiki and it's one of their bronzers. This is a nice kind of a bronzy, like a bronzy beige toned. Really pretty, I think this works great on a bunch of different skin tones. As you can see next to Fixation, it definitely is more of a peach tone. So here is Tiki. Next are these Physician Formula uh, Mineral Glow Pearls. I love these. My most used one is the Translucent Pearl, which I'm pretty sure Candy Johnson made these famous. It is so beautiful. Uh, you can get these 40% off. Physicians Formula always is having sales. Uh, full price, they're like $13. So I would recommend waiting till you can get them on sale. Let me grab my towel here. So this is Translucent Pearl. This is a really pretty pinky toned. I absolutely love it. It's right here. You can see it has a beautiful shimmery iridescence to it. Now, if you have a little bit of a darker skin tone, I have the Light Bronze Pearl and the Beige Pearl. So let's start with the beige pearl. This one is definitely a little bit more of a beigey tone. You will see that. And then I'm gonna swatch the light bronze pearl next to it as well. This I think would be beautiful for deeper skin tones and would be beautiful in the uh, summertime when you have a little bit of a tan if you're more fair skin to apply over your blush. Translucent pearls, beige pearl, and light bronze pearl. And light bronze is really pretty over like a blush or if you're a deeper skin tone, that would be beautiful. So light bronze, beige, and translucent. And those are all by Physicians Formula. Is this e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And this is, um, I've heard it's very similar to the um, Dior Amber Glow or Amber Diamonds. I don't have that. I just swirl them all together. There's four different quadrants. This is a very inexpensive highlighter. You can obviously do any of the four or all four. And here is swatched right there. It's a really pretty, definitely more of a darker beige highlight. And that is the Golden Bronzer from e.l.f. We're gonna move into some high end. Let's start with Becca. I'm loving the Becca Illuminizers. They're called the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. This first one is in Moonstone. It's a beautiful, lighter kind of pearly shade or as you can see super pigmented but this is so beautiful on the just on your cheekbones this one is in again moonstone absolutely stunning 
just look at that reflection it's so beautiful they're a little bit more expensive but they're worth it they're very finely milled the packaging is super cute so that is moonstone and the other one i have is an opal again another beautiful color they're just so silky opal is a little bit more um beigey toned and you can see them compared this one is opal this is opal and that one is moonstone so this one's a little bit more skin toned that one's a little bit more silvery and frosty but they're absolutely beautiful they don't look overly frosty on the cheeks they don't look um super shimmery they just look glowy and beautiful like a lit within look i absolutely love it okay the next ones we're gonna go to are the let's do some laura geller so i have this huge laura geller baked body frosting all over body glow this is in the shade sugar glow and i've had i bought this off of i might have bought it off amazon but they do have these on um hot look quite often so i love this i mean it's gonna take me forever to go through this this is a beautiful again kind of a beigey type highlighter it's another one that's a very beautiful glow it's right here on the top a really pretty natural shimmery glow without being glittery or frosty so this one is sugar glow and it's by laura geller baked body frosting in sugar glow and honey glow so it this i did get off hot look i'm pretty sure so this half is sugar glow which is the same as that huge one and then this one is called honey glow so this is for the deeper skin tones um, or this could be really pretty to kind of just bronze up your face a little bit. It is a little glowy, so you wouldn't contour with it, but that one is honey glow and sugar glow. So you could just get like a combo like this and have both of the colors. So really, really beautiful. Drugstore one. This is the Jane highlighter, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll have to look it up, but it is there. It's kind of like pinky toned. It has some peach some really light um, champagne colors and it is a really pretty more of a pinky toned highlighter which I like I kind of like those really pretty rosy pink so this one is the one from Jean I don't know if they have any other ones um, but as you can see it's a really pretty reflective pink I have a couple Bobbi Brown ones the first is the Bobbi Brown shimmering bricks in lilac rose they have so many different beautiful shimmer bricks. Let me know your favorite because I would definitely want to get another one. This one again is Lilac Rose. I really want to get, I think, the beige one. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, if this one is definitely a pinky toned highlighter. You could almost use this as a blush, which I actually probably could use it as a blush. Or put this, kind of top this on the top of your matte blushes. And it's a really pretty pink. It's super like reflective and beautiful. Uh, if you have a deeper skin tone, this would be really pretty, but I love this highlighter. Again, this one is in Lilac Rose. Another one that I've been absolutely obsessed with is this new Bobbi Brown one in Nude Glow, and it comes in four quadrants. I usually stick to these three because that's a little bit dark, so I kind of keep my brush over in this part, and it's a really pretty nude beige, and then I'll swirl them all together so you can see the difference. It just looks very natural and beautiful. So this top swatch here is without the brown and that bottom one is with the brown. So as you can see, really beautiful. This definitely pulls a little bit more brown rosy when you mix that dark brown in there and then that top swatch is without the brown. So I love having the option to kind of customize uh, how dark or how light I want that. This gives the most beautiful sheen to the cheeks, um, to your cheekbones, it's very, natural, dewy looking. I really, really like this. So if you can still get your hands on Nude Glow, I highly recommend it. Some Laura Mercier, this is Spellbound. This was limited edition, it's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you might be able to still pick this up, maybe off um, Nordstrom's or Macy's or something. Um, I got mine, I almost didn't get it. <laughs> I picked up the last one that they had in a Macy's store and it's a beautiful, Kind of again i really like these beigey toned highlighters it this one is right here that's this bottom one right here so it has a little bit of like a peachy rosiness to it it's absolutely beautiful if you could get your hands on it check ebay really beautiful again i noticed that the higher end ones tend to be less frosty and glittery and just tend to be a really beautiful glow so this is laura mercier spellbound this is one of my favorite this is the smash smashbox 
soft lights in baked stardust and this one again has like a it's like a pinwheel of colors and when you swipe them all together you get a really beautiful light color this is so beautiful it's one of my favorites it's kind of like my go-to really really pretty soft pinky beige you can kind of customize it with how dark or how light you want it really really love this one so again this is fusion soft light in baked stardust by smashbox this one is by Josie Moran, and it is the Argon Illuminizing Powder, and it looks like this. And this is, again, another kind of skin tone beigey. This one is kind of crumbly, um, so it's not quite as smooth when you swatch it, but when it goes on the cheeks, it's very finely milled, and it looks so natural and beautiful. So it is right here. This is the Josie Moran. Can you see that? It's just a beautiful dewiness, very natural looking but it is a little bit more of a crumble, crumblier formula. A Stila one in Kitten, and this is a duo. You have the light one and then more of a champagne bronzy color on top, and they're very, very smooth. This is the light Kitten one, and this is the bronzy one. And then as you can see there, that is the darker shade, that is the lighter Kitten shade really beautiful you can use these as eyeshadows use them um, on your cheekbone you can mix them together so it's kind of nice having the two different colors in one palette so that is the stila all over shimmer duo in kitten one and this you can find um, still on beauty.com and it is the rose illumination and this is a really pretty rose gold illuminizer i have not found any other illuminizers that are this rose gold color it's beautiful it's got a little bit of like a pinky gold sheen to it i absolutely love this it's so pretty if you love rose gold pick this up it's absolutely stunning again it is the elizabeth arden illuminating rose illumination Next, Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Again, you can get this off Hot Look. They're on there frequently. It's a very, very, this one is a very frosty highlighter. Um, you definitely want to be careful because you can go overboard with this really, really easy. They do have a bronze one called Betty Luminizer. As you can see there, it's really beautiful though, and it looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. If you like highlighters, you will love Mary Luminizer. You can see it just reflecting in the light so pretty. Okay, Kevin Aquan, I love this. This is their Celestial Powder in Candlelight. It is a stunningly beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, smooth, soft, beautiful, buttery highlight. I really like this color. Again, this is another one that doesn't look overdone or frosty on your cheekbones. You can see it right here. Just a really pretty, natural, soft, Highlight. I love this one. And this is the Celestial Powder in Candlelight from Kevin Aquan. A Lancome one. This is their blush highlighter in 001. That's all it says. I don't know if this is permanent or if it was limited edition, but it just has a rose on it. And it's a really pretty pink highlighter. It's quite pink. It's like a nice baby pink really smooth beautiful i love the reflection on this it looks so gorgeous if you have a nice pink cheek on and you just kind of top your cheekbones with this so the, again this is the lancome illuminating powder face and decollete in 001. We have this pure color from estee lauder in heat wave i don't know if you can still pick this up it was limited edition but this is their jelly um they call it illuminating powder jelly and this is a gorgeous gold highlight and it's so incredibly smooth and beautiful. This just reminds me of summertime. I just see like a beautifully tanned bronzed face with this color. Can you see just how metallic and beautiful that is? So again, this is in Heat Wave and it is their Illuminating Powder Gelée from Estee Lauder. I have an Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. This is their Illuminating Powder. The, t the bottom half has this brush, which actually the bottom half has a brush, which I actually didn't know that, and it's really soft. This would be a great contour brush. Um, and this is what the powder looks like. I have yet to use this um, because it's so, if you can see there, look at how sparkly that this is. I mean, it is like straight up glitter. And when I swatch it, it's just glitter everywhere. So it's got a pretty illuminating factor to it, but it's very glittery. 
So this is definitely not one of my favorite <laughs> highlighters. Um, I never wear it just because I feel like it's white with a ton of glitter. So this is not my favorite, um, but this is the Urban Decay Illuminating Powder. My Guerlain Terra Aura uh, Sculpting Powder Contrast Highlighter. I love this stuff. It's expensive as can be. So it twists off, smells expensive. It has two colors. It's got this golden color in the middle. It has a bronze color on the outside and then you swirl them together and you get like a nice combination. So I love this on my cheekbones. This is the awesome tan line I have going on. Darker color, lighter color, and mixed together. Really, really beautiful. I love this. It's just such a luxury, beautiful highlighter. I love this. Terra Aura Sculpting Powder. Okay, MAC of these loose ones. This one is called The Truth and Light. They call this the Magically Cool Liquid Powder. I always forget that I have this. It's kind of like a beigey color. This is like one of those you put it on and it just makes your skin feel really cool. I don't know if you would actually consider this really a highlighter because I don't, it's right there. I don't really see it highlighting anything. It might just be more of like a setting powder. So <clears throat> I got this and I don't really know what to do with it. Um, and then Silver Dusk, which this also was made famous by Candy Johnson. And this is a beautiful, she used to wear this all the time. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, her cheekbones look beautiful. So there's Silver Dusk. You can see it's a beautiful reflection. Silver Dusk by Matt. Choose some cream highlights, you guys. Hopefully you're still hanging with me. I just love my highlighting products. Okay, I have two NARS sticks. This first one is in Copacabana, lighter champagne a little bit of a pinky tinge to it copacabana if you can see it right there really pretty these go on super smooth and just really easy to apply so i love that also i have luxor and luxor is more of a pink toned product they kind of look the same here but there's luxor i don't know if you can see it and there's copacabana they look very similar when I swatch them actually, but these are super smooth, really blendable. They look gorgeous on your cheekbones, so I really love these multiples. The Illuminator in Copacabana. I don't know if this came with the gift set or if I bought this. I honestly don't remember. Um, but this is a liquid illuminator, so you can mix this with your foundation, and when you blend it in, it's just a really pretty sheen. So Copacabana, this is their illuminator in the tube. tube of the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator. And this is in Gleam. So this is a little bit more of like a rose gold color. And I will blend that in for you. This is another one that I think would be pretty to mix with your foundation. It's right here. You can see it has a little bit of a peachy rose gold tinge to it. Highlighters are so hard to swatch, but this one is Gleam from NYX. The High Beam from Benefit. It's a pink toned, it's in a nail polish type applicator. And this is a really pretty one for your cheekbones. Um, if you like kind of the pinky toned, I love this. And it lasts forever. I've had this for so long and I'm about halfway through it. So this is High Beam. I have the Benefit What's Up. It comes with a cream stick on one side and then the smudger on the other side, which I never use the smudger. And this is more of a, again, kind of a champagne beige. So there is High Beam and there is What's Up, both by Benefit. Luster Drops from MAC. This is in Pink Rebel. This is kind of like a rose gold pink tone. And these, again, you can mix with your foundation. Um, just apply them to your cheekbones. And this is like a really subtle, I don't even know if you'll see it, subtle shimmer not shimmer, highlight, and that's Pink Rebel, so it's very, very subtle. More cream. I have two from Illamasqua. This first one is in Lies, and it's a beautiful pink highlight. I love applying this with a beauty blender um, or like a flat panel brush. So I have Lies, and I also have Aurora, which is a champagne, and they call this, and it's very, very like, um, soft. The product is very soft. And they call these their, this is a cream blush in Lies, and this is the Gleam in Aurora. So here's Aurora. 
which is a really pretty champagne, and there's Lies, which is a really pretty pink. So Lies and Aurora. Those are both from Illamasqua. Mali Face Defender in Gorgeois Glow, and it is, again, kind of a golden champagne. And this is interesting texture because it's um, kind of like, I don't know, it's not so creamy like the Illamasqua ones are, and it's very subtle. And there's Gorgeois Glow. I don't know if you can even see it. It's so subtle. But it's really, really pretty. I never hear anyone talk about this. And it's so gorgeous. High Tech Lighter from the makeup store. I got this when I was in London. And it's in the color Platina. And it's kind of like a white cream. And that's what it looks like. And this is like kind of a goopier product as well. And this is a very, very light, kind of white highlight. You can see there, that's Platina, and that's a high-tech lighter from the makeup store. Strobe creams, this one is just the regular strobe lotion, and you can mix this with your foundation, apply it before your foundation. I used to use the strobe cream. So this one is just the regular strobe lotion. It gives a really pretty iridescence to your skin. And then I also have the bronzing one too called Golden Elixir. And as you can see, this one is white and this one's more of a bronze. And this is gorgeous to mix with your foundation as well. It kind of gives you more of a golden hue to your makeup, especially if maybe your foundation's a little light. Um, oh, that looks crazy. Um, it's a really pretty bronze. You can see it just has a nice reflection compared to this hand. Minus the fact that uh, my self-tanner on my hands is like such a hot mess. Um, this one is from Becca and it's their Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. And it is a white, like a really light cream. And that's a heavy swatch of it, but you can see how beautiful. Again, another one you can mix with your foundation, pop it on your cheekbone. This is expensive, but it's a huge tube and you hardly need any. That was like one full pump, and that's more than enough to mix with my foundation. If you want like a really luminous glow, especially if you have really dry skin and you have a hard time getting a really pretty luminosity to your skin, mix that with your foundation. Sea of Tranquility, and it's their highlighting liquid from Rouge Benny Rouge. This is a beautiful like pinky lavender toned. You can see there, it's really pretty. And again, wait, I just dumped way too much on my hand, but it's really pretty, almost like a pinky lavender tinge to it. And that is from Rouge Benny Rouge. So I think that is like the gist of my uh, highlighting collection. You guys know I love my highlighters. I would love to know what some of your favorite highlighters are. If you wanna see a MAC MSF video, let me know and I will do that separately. And I think that's the other request for any videos. Please let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.